Is it your birthday? Is it your birthday? So today is Luna and Crow's fifth birthday. So I thought that over the next few days I would just film a little bit of a bunny vlog. I feel like I haven't made as much bunny content recently. I just wanted to like take some time, spend some extra time with them, film it for you guys, especially since it's their fifth birthday. So happy birthday guys. I also have a vet appointment in a couple of days. Um, just like a general checkup, want to do some wellness things. They're getting older, just want to make sure that everything is still all good. So they'll also be going to the vet. Luna, yeah, hold on. No, they're in there. I don't have any more. They're in there. All right, everyone. So I am about to put together the rabbit's birthday gift. So I, oops. So I actually ordered a bunch of stuff from Animal Adventure Pods. If you aren't familiar with them, they are a UK based company that sells tons of really great quality wooden rabbit hides, custom designed, and I've been wanting to buy stuff from them for a very long time. I just have wanted to get like a huge haul basically because of international shipping. I really don't want to pay international shipping more than once. So I wanted to buy multiple things from them in just one big haul. So I have two hides and two wooden enrichment toys in here for the rabbit's birthday. It was a very expensive birthday present. I think it was about $300, I wanna say, with international shipping and everything. A lot of the cost was the shipping. So if you live in the UK, it will not be as expensive for you because you will not have to pay international shipping, especially since it's wood, it's a very heavy package. So there's a lot of international shipping on the package, but I'm going to be opening everything up and then putting it all together here in my bedroom. And then I'm going to take it out into the living room and see how the rabbits like it. So I just finished putting everything together. You can see the ice cream truck and the cabin are right there behind me. They're literally so cute. But these are the other two things that I got. It was a combo set. They're like two little roller enrichment toys. So this one is for probably like pellets or small treats and they just roll it along the ground and it has a couple different size holes. And then this one I'm really excited about you could like stuff it with hay and forage and then they just roll it around and pull that out. I've wanted a different place to stuff hay besides just in my litter box for a while now. So I'm really excited to try this one out. But I'm gonna take everything to the living room. Hopefully the rabbits are awake and not napping and see how they like it.
right guys, so I just got back from the store and I have a ton of veggies here that I thought I would show you guys. I wanted to do sort of like a special salad for them tonight for their birthday. So I got a lot of different veggies in here. Not all of these are for the rabbits. A lot of it is also for my guinea pigs, but I thought I would just go ahead and show you guys everything that I have. It's like a little veggie haul. So I have some of the flat leaf parsley, and then I have some dill, and then I have the curly leaf parsley, and then I have two things of cilantro, and then also some oregano. The cilantro still has the roots on it, which is really weird. I've never seen my grocery store leave the roots on the cilantro, but they left them on here this time. And then we have some mint. And then we have a bag of six peppers. These are mostly for the guinea pigs, but I wanna try to cut like a uh, number five out of one of the peppers for their birthday. I'm not sure if I'll be able to do it, but I'm hoping I can. And then we have a bag of romaine leaf leaves and then a box of arugula. And that's everything that I got. So it is now Tuesday and I just got the rabbits in their carrier to go to the vet. I actually just set the carrier on the ground and they were interested enough in it to go into it themselves. And once they were inside, I just closed the door on them. I'm not leaving for about 15 more minutes. So they're going to be having about 15 minutes to get used to being in the carrier before I have to put them in the car. They have gone to the vet quite a couple times in the past, so they're not too spooked by the carrier, but it was really good that they went into the carrier on their own. I didn't have to like chase them or put them in there. So that was really nice. They haven't done that in the past, so it was good that they went in there on their own, but I'm gonna be off to the vet in like 15, 20 minutes. Hi. <laughs> All right guys, so I just got back from the vet with the rabbits and I'm going to sort of give you guys as brief of a summary of the visit as I can. I'm not sure if I mentioned it earlier in this video, but I took my rabbits to the vet for a checkup because they were starting to pee outside their box like a lot, like an increasing amount. And back in January, about seven months ago, my rabbits did have E. caniculi. And the symptom that I noticed then was them having a lot of litter accidents and a lot of bladder weakness. So when I picked back up again, I figured I would take them back to the vet to see if their E. caniculi had flared up again. So I took both Crow and Luna back to the vet, but I only did blood work on on Luna to look for E. caniculi signs because if one of them has it, the chances are both of them ha have it. So there was no like need to do blood work and pay for blood work for both of them. So I did blood work for just Luna and her blood work came back and it showed that she had the same level of globulins as she did back in January when they had E. caniculi. And the globulins are like an indicator of inflammation. So the levels of inflammation in her body were similar to when they had E. caniculi back in January. So the vet said because of that and also the litter box issues, we decided to go ahead and treat them for Echinoculi. So both Crow and Luna are on a month long course of antibiotics and an antiparasitic. I'll put the names of the medication on the screen. I don't remember them off the top of my head, but they're on that for a whole month. Yet again, um, one of the medications is like once a day and one is twice a day. They looked over everything else for both the rabbits, especially their ears. I wanted to really look at that since they are lops. And we did find out that Crow actually has an inner ear infection. The vet actually showed me how she could tell that. We like felt the bone or the cartilage or whatever around the base of his ear. And one of them, you could like straight up feel the bone. And on the infected ear, you could feel that it was a bit swollen around that area. So the deal with inner ear infections, according to what my vet said, is that the only way to really fully treat them is to do surgery and remove whatever is infected in there but we don't wanna do surgery unless he's showing clinical signs or he's in a lot of pain. She said currently he's in no pain as she was like pressing on the swollen part. He was reacting 
not at all and then also he's not showing any clinical signs of having an ear infection which would include like a head tilt or like partial facial paralysis she described it to me as sort of like how some people's faces are like droopy after like a stroke that could be like a clinical sign of an ear infection and he's not showing that he doesn't have a head tilt he's not in pain so she said for now we're just going to leave it we don't, we don't want to do surgery unless we have to so actually the antibiotics that he is on for the econiculi will also help with his ear infection and then they also gave me ear drops to give him once a week in both ears actually that vet visit for reference was about 540 something dollars for both their exams the x-rays um they cleaned out a bit of crow's ear obviously not like the inner ear but like the outer ear he also got a sandy shave because he's kind of bad at cleaning himself up down there so they shaved off any matted fur and they both also got their nails trimmed so all of that plus the medication for everyone was about 500 dollars so definitely an expensive vet visit um that's their birthday gift i'm kidding the birthday gift is a vet visit but for real um i'm glad that i took them and i'm glad that they are on their way to being treated so that is a little update for you guys on the rabbit's health i think i'm going to continue to take them to the vet every six months because obviously they're five years old now i, I would consider them senior rabbits i don't know what age people typically consider rabbits senior rabbits but at five i would start to consider them senior rabbits so i'm going to be taking them to the vet every six months especially because of the econiculi the fact that it flared up without any stressors like there has not been any major environment changes there have not been any major diet changes i've even been trying to include like forages and treats that promote like anti-inflammation and a stronger immune system so despite all that they still had a flare up i'm going to talk to my vet a bit more about what i can possibly do to decrease the chances of a of another flare up or prevent another flare up but that is it for my vet update and time to get on with the rest of the vlog hi luna come here i've been trying to teach Luna some tricks. She's much more food motivated than Crow. Luna, Luna spin. Oh, good girl. Spin is the only one that I've done so far, but I'm hoping once she gets this one down really well, we can do another. Luna spin. Good girl. It used to take her a really long time to figure out that I wanted her to spin. Luna spin. Good girl. And I usually do this for about like three or so minutes a day, just giving her pellets or treats and having her spin for them. Luna, spin. Good girl. Luna, come here. Spin. <laughs> Good girl. Hi guys. Is it time for veggies? <laughs> So this is the current situation that we have going on over here. Obviously they're still having some accidents and they will continue to do so because of their econiculi, but it is pretty centered to right in front of the box, but they've made a bit of a mess here. Hi guys. So I'm going to give them their veggies to sort of get them away from this area. And then I'm going to lightly clean the area, which basically means I'm going to take up the mat here, throw it in the wash, and then tomorrow, I will deep clean, which means I will do the litter box, put a fresh mat back, and then I will also clean the rest of the living room. But for right now, we're just gonna do veggies.
So I also want to put a forage into this pod treat roller right here. So I have some of this forage. This is the well-kept rabbit pain and inflammation forage. And I think this is really great to have on hand, especially when they have Echinicula, a bit of herbal support in addition to their medication could never hurt. So I'm gonna put a couple, a small handful of the pain and inflammation forage into this roller. And then they will just have to roll that around to get it out. So this is the mess that the rabbits have left me. I've never seen them pull their litter box out from the wall like this before. So they did all of this in the course of one night, but luckily the Toki Hut mat that I have to go here should have dried overnight. I left it to hang dry all night. So today I'm going to be changing both of the litter boxes and then putting down the new mat and just sort of getting this area together. And then I'm also probably going to rearrange all of their other hides and toys and everything and just like clean my living room in general so hopefully they will be excited about the new arrangement of their hides normally they're really interested when i like choose to move all their stuff around it makes it more enriching so i will be doing that today So everything is now clean. This is literally the deepest clean I think I've ever done, or not ever, but done in a while of like my living room rabbit area. So I did sort of scoot my little storage thing here down this wall. It was originally sort of in line with these photographs, but I wanted to open up some more space here for more of their items. So this is like a first little area over here with a couple of their hides and toys. And then obviously they have their main base with their litter boxes, their dig box, a couple more hides. Over here is another little area. This is where I feed them their veggies. This is where I have their water and another little hide here, a couple enrichment toys for their pellets. And this over here is more hides. This is their favorite tunnel. They're actually both in there right now. And then we have the little ice cream truck, Toki Hut mat, some more tunnels, hides, and stuff over here. And then as always, this chair is like in chair jail because they used to go back there and pee a lot behind there. I'm just afraid if I sort of open it back up, they're going to try to pee behind there again. So for now, I have just left it like that. And obviously here is just our couch, our, what is this, coffee table? And then our TV, 
Over here, more miscellaneous stuff. This is a huge container of donation clothes. I have been trying to go through all my laundry and just donating or putting things in here that I don't want that I'm going to donate. That's like a donation box. This is some guinea pig stuff that I have to show off in a haul. Their bed that they literally never use. And then just the hide that I couldn't find a place for this time. But I'm so pleased with the way everything came out. I swear it has not looked this clean in literally months, but it looks so nice. And that is actually where I am going to end today's vlog. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe to see more of my content. Thank you all so much for watching. I will see you again next week. Bye-bye.